All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at Pythagorean Theorem, and this is going to be really, really, really quick because it's just a review. Okay, so Pythagorean Theorem, the thing I need you to most know is you only use it with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. So you need to say it with me. Only use with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. Say it with me. Say it with me. Only use with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. I said only use with right triangles. Only use with right triangles. So, an example would look like this. Here is a right triangle. What makes it a right triangle is that it has this box or a 90 degree angle or otherwise known as a right angle. So this is a right angle, which is equal to 90 degrees. That makes it a right triangle. Okay. Now, the biggest thing that you need to know with your right triangle is that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, again, this is just a review. You should already know it, but I'm not going to assume anything. A and B are called your legs. Okay, and there are two of them because you have two legs. And then C is called your hypotenuse. Hypot I still misspelled that. Hypotenuse. Okay, which is your longest side, which is always opposite the 90 degree angle the 90 degree angle okay so show me in your diagram you go find your 90 degree angle go opposite that that's always going to be the hypotenuse which is always C which means the legs are the other two the order of these legs don't matter. So if you want this to be A and this B, that's fine. This A, this B, that's fine. As long as you know C is the longest side, always opposite the 90. That has to be true. Okay. So we're going to take a look at five steps that you need to do any of these problems that have Pythagorean theorem. Step number one. You need to draw your triangle. You need to draw your triangle. Step number two, label your triangle, label your triangle A, B, and C. Step number two, label your triangle A, B, and C. Step number three, write Write the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Step number three, write your formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, I've run out a little space. I think I got space for one more actually. Step number four, replace, replace numbers. For letters. Replace numbers for letters. Okay. And step number five. Solve it. Solve it for the unknown. Solve it for the unknown. All right, we're going to do some examples to walk us through that, but one more thing that I do need you to know, and I've run out of, actually, I think I could just extend this paper real quick. One more thing I need us to write down. I need you to write down, write is equal, obtuse 
is less than acute is greater than. And when you think of this, for what I'm about to teach you, think opposite. All right, so right is equal, obtuse is less than, acute is greater. Think opposite when you think of obtuse and acute because an obtuse angle, I always think, is bigger than 90. Acute is less than 90, but think opposite, and I'm going to explain what this is. All right, so that's it for your notes. We're going to take a look at some examples.